Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a nasty severe weather outbreak that'll be impacting parts of the United States today bringing the risk of very significant damaging winds large to very large hail and a potential for a few tornadoes I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today we'll begin with the central plains which is the the area that we really need to watch closely for here today we already have a beginning area of showers and storms back up in nebraska that'll turn into an mcs later today and this will start to drag down to the south and southeast posing the risk for some very significant damaging winds large hail and as well as a few tornadoes we'll talk about the timing and everything that you know in just a moment and then we'll also be watching further off to the east for more severe weather in parts of the midwest later today this could pose the risk for some damaging winds and also some large hail another area that we have to watch for very closely for more severe weather which we've already seen a couple days here in a row now of some severe storms there in the midwest so we'll be talking about more on that as well in just a few moments further down to the south and southeast we have some showers and storms that have been ongoing this morning in parts of arkansas oklahoma and as well as southern missouri this is actually some good news for these areas because what this will end up doing later today is stabilizing the atmosphere a little bit that will actually help to basically decrease the risk for very significant severe weather as we go into the late evening and as well as in the parts of the overnight hours once that MCS back up here starts to drag down to the south and southeast so there is some good news with that storm activity but the bad news is that there is more flooding potential coming with that for those back down in southern Arkansas and as well as Mississippi so definitely be mindful of that again make sure you turn around don't drive if you're on the roadways because that'll definitely make things very dangerous over there as well back over on the east coast not a whole lot of activity here anymore we have that low pressure system now back up into Canada another low pressure system back up into also central Canada that's been spinning there for quite a while that's kind of unleashing more storms across areas in canada and that's actually kind of a reason why we have that mcs that'll be developing in the central plains as well so a lot of activity still out there but obviously this is a very big concern today for severe weather because the storm prediction center has issued an enhanced risk for severe weather and this does currently include the central plains and it includes areas like kansas missouri as well as even southern nebraska that's where everything's gonna be starting off today as well as parts of oklahoma arkansas and even back into illinois by the way there is that slight risk of severe weather and we do have to watch two different areas here because back down in the central plains this is where we're watching for that mcs and that's the potential for some very significant damaging winds out of a line of storms and by the way an mcs is a mesoscale convective system that's what i'm talking about when i say mcs and also back up into the midwest that's where we're watching for just a few supercells to develop later today that could pose a threat for some large hail and damaging winds i wouldn't rule out an isolated tornado there is enough shear for it but it will stay a very low risk overall it's not enough right now for the storm prediction center to issue that two percent probability tornado risk but there could be that issue later today it's not out of the question current damaging wind threat you'll notice there's a hatched area across areas in eastern and central kansas back into western missouri this is where we're watching for some very significant damaging winds definitely make sure you're staying weather aware today with multiple ways to receive alerts i might even go live today for this so make sure you click the bell icon down below and subscribe to the channel if you've not already so you get notified when i go live here for a live stream but you'll notice again that's where we could be watching for damaging winds exceeding 70 miles per hour and that's pretty likely out of a couple of these storms that are associated with the mcs because as it collapses down to the south and southeast it's going to basically be intensifying with all the instability that'll lead to the increased risk of at least some damaging winds exceeding 70 to 75 miles per hour we could even see a storm go as high as 90 to 100 miles per hour so definitely make sure you're prepared today flying trampoline is definitely a possibility and then back up into the midwest low end threat for that and then this area of storms will start to weaken as it moves into central oklahoma but there will at least be some damaging winds still remaining and with all this being said the flying trampoline meter today it is a high risk and that means that we could see scattered flying trampolines here associated with this line of storms so definitely make sure you're flipping over your trampoline or hatching it down whatever you got to do because those things can get propelled very easily off the ground with these high winds that we are forecasting today here across the central plains but again make sure you're prepared have multiple ways to receive alerts and take the proper precautions large hail threat right now it's not too concerning but it is going to be a concern primarily across kansas this is where we could be watching for some scattered to maybe even some numerous hail upwards of around golf ball to hen egg sized hail i wouldn't rule out an isolated storm closer to tennis ball sized hail but since this is a line of storms the hail risk will naturally be less than what it could be if these were discrete supercells so that's some good news there but we'll be watching for at least some sporadic hail if you're back down in oklahoma or Ar arkansas we might be looking at quarter to half dollar sized hail out of isolated storms but again it's not nearly as concerning as the damaging wind threat for today back up in the midwest we are 
are watching as well for maybe some hail that will be upwards of hen egg as well i wouldn't rule out an isolated storm up the tennis ball size tail there as well because the lapse rates will just be steep enough and if the cells are discreet enough we could see that hail threat really start to kick in and come into play tornado risk right now it's low it's not really that high right now i wouldn't rule out that this gets upgraded a little bit possibly in the midwest but right now it's it's a very low end risk today isolated tornado or two make sure you have a tornado action plan in place just in case and by the way if you do end up being under a severe thunderstorm warning exceeding 70 miles per hour you should treat it as if it's a tornado warning because those can sometimes produce really high winds that knock over trees so just want to throw that out there for today all right let's talk more about the timing we'll begin with the central plains and we're going to begin with kansas so we're going to go state by state here beginning with 12 o'clock there will already be storms back up in southern nebraska these will begin to produce that damaging wind potential through hastings and near mccook once we get closer to one to two o'clock this line starts to move down to the south and southeast you might be thinking it doesn't look overly organized other than this one little cluster but this is going to become more organized as we go throughout the day and the reason why is because we're going to continue to see more instability start to build across areas in the central and eastern parts of kansas once we get closer to three o'clock this continues to move down to the south and southeast going towards Hayes and as well as salina and eventually going towards four to five o'clock we continue to see showers and storms associated with this mcs and this will continue to move through areas like hutchinson and as well as topeka right around about five o'clock this evening so make sure again you're staying very weather aware here across southern and eastern kansas and as well as back near kansas city by six o'clock this is approaching wichita by seven to eight o'clock this will be moving towards pittsburgh and as well as going through areas in northeast oklahoma where damaging winds will continue to be possible and this all eventually moves out of kansas right around about nine to ten o'clock tonight so make sure that you are staying weather aware all the way through that time point now back over into the east in missouri we'll be watching for storms to fire up really this afternoon we could even see some cells form out in front of the line these would be the ones to watch for those will primarily produce the damaging wind and large hail threat a brief tornado is not out of the question but it's a pretty low chance back near kansas city storms will be rolling through sometime around four to eight o'clock tonight and eventually by eight o'clock we'll continue to see storms march through areas in missouri like columbia and clinton that is where damaging winds does appear possible and then eventually going closer to 10 to 11 this line starts to weaken out throughout missouri back down to the south in oklahoma storms will start to move through really this evening so really northeast oklahoma is the most concerning area out of this this will be watching for damaging winds upwards of around 60 to 70 miles per hour wouldn't rule out an isolated storm near 80 miles per hour and then eventually by 10 to 11 o'clock storms continue to push down to the south and southeast a secondary effort will be made by this area of storms tonight and if this does end up being successful we could end up seeing some storm activity near oklahoma city which would be mainly just isolated damaging winds and isolated large hail so nothing too crazy but definitely something you want to stay alert for and then overnight we'll continue to see some showers and storms there now throughout arkansas this area of storms will be weakening quite quickly so we're not going to see a whole lot here but damaging winds are possible the northwest side of the state through areas like mountain home russellville conway eventually near little rock by one in the morning but overall it's not going to be too impressive and the damaging wind potential is there but it's not going to be too high so good news there for those over the midwest storms are going to fire up this afternoon really around five six o'clock back over in western illinois these will make an attempt to get near chicago and if they are end up end up being successful we could also see the threat for some damaging winds and maybe some isolated large hail by midnight storms are moving towards michigan this is nothing in comparison to what we saw with that tornado outbreak but it is a possibility to see some lightning and maybe some gusty winds throughout um, michigan overnight but overall severe weather is not really an issue at this point there and then once we go into saturday there's currently no slight risk of severe weather if this does end up happening we don't have a slight risk this would be the first time all month without a slight risk of severe weather but this is back over in the ohio valley for isolated damaging winds and isolated large hail and then as we head into sunday there is another couple areas to watch one of which will be in the midwest and as well as the central plains and another back into the northeast and we'll talk about more on this in our next forecast thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already